All right, welcome back. We're here in New Reno. This is Fallout 2, and again, I'm just gonna ask that you bear with me a little bit. I think it's been a few months since I've even picked up the game. I've been hanging around the channel, but I heard some, well, wonderful things going on in my life otherwise. But um, this was actually probably a good spot to leave it. We came back from the vertebrate base. Couldn't go forward with Lily and Maria because, well, she won't stay behind. So we're just going to take, I think, the circuit around, really looking for new equipment and finish up last minute things like uh, freeing Solik's sister, if possible, and uh, just taking that big circle round, I think, one more time and we'll see uh, what happens. Otherwise, I know it doesn't quite make sense why we're <laughs> coming back here. We've never actually been here before. This is kind of interesting. But again, because it's been so long, I kind of need to remind myself... What, Jibby? Um, at least the weapons that her these company members are proficient with. You got it, friend. Yeah, so asking so like what kind of weapons he's wants. We be good with fist, spear, big hammer, submachine gun. We be a handful. Okay. That at least I remember. I think he does have a submachine gun at least. Vic, I think, was the big question between uh, small firearms and rifles. Oh, look at this. <laughs> All right. Vic's saying he needs a doctor. Don't remember that. I don't know if I can fight with you anymore. I guess he can't heal himself. I tried, boss. But I'm not doing so hot. All right. <laughs> Probably see if we have a doctor's bag. Probably sold it already. Alright. Ask him what he's proficient with, though. <laughs> yeah, small arms. Rifle, shotgun. Assuming that's an order of preference, I guess. She does have a rifle, I think, with a scope. Alright. Yeah. Who on earth has a doctor bag? I don't know if Miria's got one. If anyone was carrying it, she'd be the one. Nope. Alright. Wedding presents and cat's paw. <laughs> That's about it. Okay. So you know what? Well, not sure uh, Lily's going to be able to do this without anything. Give this a shot. No, it's not working. Gonna get exhausted soon. Oh, there we go. Brahmin booty, ghoul booty, death call booty. <laughs> All right. Certainly sounds interesting. Let's see how, how he's doing. Severely wounded. All right. You know what? I think we need to find a place <laughs> just to rest a bit. Not sure if we can get. You know what? Also wanted to check what was in the trunk. Man. All right. Key cards. Water chip. Documents. Hopefully, all these pass keys, I guess, have been used. Probably. Vault 15. Alright. Oh, there we go. Some microfusion cells for the car and rubber boots. Alright, if we ever find that electronic lockpick, we'll go back to Toxic K's. You know what? I think we're gonna need to, uh. Make sure everyone's uh, <laughs> fully restored. That was awfully quick. Yeah, he's in bad shape. Severely wounded. Yeah. 
is called for a medic. No. All right. Vic is just gonna have to tough it out, I think. Till uh. <laughs> Till I don't know what. All right. So we're looking for, I guess, for anything that looks like a merchant. Here's a pimp. <laughs> Not quite what Lily's looking for. All right, so offering a place to stay. I got some work for you. Benefit is you get to lie down on the job. Yeah. Should have figured as much. Hyperactive junkie. Hopefully he's not too hyperactive. He won't mind if uh, she pokes around. Doesn't look like anything that search through anyway. Hey, look at that. Well, jet heads. We know about jet, but Eugene, we don't know who that is. I don't think she's going to talk to any junkies, but I'm curious if they have a stash. Our grungy, shaggy looking man. Maybe he's a dealer. But he's barking like a dog. I guess there's nothing sticking out of his pockets. No. Alright. Yeah, I don't think she's interested in... <laughs> ...talking with the dog man. Yeah, I have to admit, this is awfully strange to be... Uh, again, it's been so long since I've recorded. I think months. If I dare admit that. <laughs> it's just... It feels awfully strange. I kind of got out of the habit of talking to myself. Yo, lady! Don't bother with the casinos. Come play with Monty. Who is this? Alright. Card dealer. Three card Monty. I don't think that's what he's playing, though. Seen those guys. <laughs> I remember that from the. Uh... I guess that'll be the 90s in the city. It's set up on a cardboard box. You bet on a few games, and then uh, anything bad happens, they just kick the table over and they run. <laughs> What's he saying here? I missed it. Yeah, I don't think she's gonna gamble. You know, I'm just gonna see if uh, you can maybe point out where she can buy some equipment. Plus, I think it was uh, Deadpool first to point out that Robohan, Robohound can actually carry something. Not quite sure how we get to that though. All right, don't worry about that now. All right, the old man smiles and the skin around his eyes crinkles. Look at the play lady. Yeah, would you like to hear more about it? Yeah, <laughs> cause for a frown. Whether I talk depends on what you want to know. It's not gonna be cheap. Yeah, what does he think she should know? I hear things, see things. For 200 chips, maybe you can get the benefit of my experience. Know what I'm saying? Well, it sounds awfully expensive. I think we have like 5,000 caps or something like that. You know what? I should risk it. Give him a hundred. See if he takes it. Oh, look at that. That looks like, uh, well, not quite a tragic deck. She's one for this. Wow, it's expensive. All right. All right, offering him a hundred. 
done. <laughs> Leans in. Well, that guy Eldridge runs New Reno Arms. Says he does weapon upgrades, but I never see him do any work. All right, tell him Lily to check out his place. He didn't hear that from me. All right. Certainly not worth it. Maybe that's his bodyguard. Hey, look at this, the biggest little city in the world. <laughs> Nick Casting is a really nice guy. We have great conversations. That's some prostitute. Oh. I don't know who she's talking to. The drug dealer. You know, got around town, sugar? Alright, so the Desperado. Yeah, who's this Nick Casting guy? Must be a. There's a bouncer. Well, maybe she'll meet somebody important inside the casino. A patron. Here's one lady offering a double header. She's got a girlfriend. <laughs> Alright. Who is this guy? Pimp. Alright, sounds like they're getting busy inside. This is one of Mordino's men. Looks like a robot. This is, uh... This is the problem when you walk into a town. <laughs> you have no plan of action. So to buy something, we don't even know... Where we should be. Mordino. Alright, where's Mordino, though? I should probably want to talk to him. She'll talk to this guy so you can find out where Mordino is. Get out of here! <laughs> All right. We didn't really tell anybody to put their weapons away either. Hopefully, it's not an issue. All right, here's the bar. This will be a start. Who's that? Is this Mordino's office? He's got to have a nicer office than that. Who's in here? This looks like a shakedown room. They catch you <laughs> cheating at cards. That's where you go. Who's that? All right, here's the pit boss. Uh, probably talk to the bartender. Little Jesus Mordino. Here at the bar. Hold on. She doesn't want to seem anxious. Talking to the bartender. Asking her what her poison is. Yeah, well, let's ask what's on tap. Oh. <laughs> Gamma Gold Beer. That might be new. Don't remember that. Yeah, it goes in the door. Jet. I don't think we have anything to sell either. 